In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this beat. What's up everybody, Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. The people over at studiosounds.com sent me a sample pack uh, called Nostalgia. Um, they asked me to check it out and see if I could make a beat with it, um, and I did. The pack comes with 50 different 80s inspired loops, 50 instrument loops, 50 chord progression loops, and 99 licks and stabs, all 100% royalty free. This is the loop that I chose to mess around with. The first thing I did with this beat and like with any other sample beat is I got it in time with Ableton. That way if I were to change the tempo, this, the sample would change along with the tempo and it wouldn't be all messed up. And so I changed my tempo to 85 cause that was the original samples tempo. Pressed warp. Then I changed my tempo to 75. Transpose it down five semitones. Then I loaded up a drum rack, chose this kick, snare, rim shot, and shakers. And I built this drum pattern around the sample. For my bass line, I decided to duplicate the sample EQ out the highs and some of the mids. And then I EQ'd out the lows and some of the mids of the original main sample. That way they wouldn't clash with each other. end of the 8 bar loop there's a little string melody that I really like and I wanted that in the beginning um, so I decided to add some strings to the beginning of the loop but before I show you um, the strings that I added I want to show you how I know uh, exactly what key we're in since the original key of the sample is a sharp which is right here, and I transpose it down five semitones. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, down to F, um, and now the sample is in F minor. So then I pulled up Machine, and I played these strings. For the verse portion of the beat, I wanted to chop up the sample. So I went over to the Ableton push, pressed convert, simpler, changed the mode to slicing, changed slice by to region, then changed the regions to 16. That way I can have the sample spread across 16 different pads. and it felt like I needed some vocals, so I went through my sample pack called Red Dot and found these vocals, transposed it to fit the key of this song. And the last thing I added for some ear candy was this Rhodes part. That is the entire beat. I will play the full thing at the end of this video along with my screen so you guys can see what the sequence looks like. If you're interested in purchasing a lease to this beat or purchasing it exclusively, um, it is on my website, chrispunsalon.com, or you can click the link in the description. Thank you again to the people over at studiosounds.com for sending me the kit. Um, if you're interested in checking out this kit or any of the other kits that they have on their website, they will be linked in the description. And um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for paying attention. Please pay your producers, and I'll see you guys in the next video.